And Paul here is giving an apology or a defense of the faith. He's not saying, hey guys, I'm sorry, I'm a Christian. That's not an apology. An apology means that he's standing up to reason out the facts and explain reasonably that this is true. As Christians, sometimes we need to go on the offense, which doesn't mean be offensive, but to go on the offense, we go forward to share the gospel. Other times, we're on defense. People come to us, and they have questions. How did Noah get all those animals on the ark? Explain that to me. How is Jesus both God and man? Come on. Okay, so if there's a good God, why are bad things happening to good people like me? And you have to answer them. You have to make a defense. Sometimes they're going to critique the Bible. They're going to criticize the church. They're going to ask questions about Jesus. And we are to give an apology, a defense of why this is reasonable, why this is true. And that's what he is doing here, standing before them. And Paul is presenting the facts, and he's stating that he didn't go looking for this faith, but that Christ came to him. And he's going to give this central message here that he served the God of their fathers. He hadn't rejected Judaism. The problem is that Judaism had rejected Jesus. And as you listen to Paul continue here to speak from this platform as we pick up in verse 2, I want you to think about this. If you had one chance to share Jesus with someone who you really, really want to know Jesus, what would you say to them? Would you take that chance? This is what Paul's doing here. He really wants these Jewish people to know Jesus and receive Jesus, and he's going to take that chance with compassion, with calmness, with clarity. He's going to say here again three things. This is who I was. I was a lot like you guys. This is what happened to me. Jesus graciously intervened in my life, and this is who I am today. I'm a man sold out for Jesus, commissioned for Jesus to speak and preach Christ. He's going to say really in short, guys, I'm actually devout, and Jesus is actually God. 